Hello happyest. Good day to all of you and welcome back to Happy TV. By the way, this time we will be doing outcrossing some of our gapis by passing Y chromosomes to X chromosomes for our preferred traits. But before anything else, if you're new here, please consider subscribing so you won't miss out any of our videos. So let's get into the video. So today we'll be doing the outcrossing experiment with my black stain magenta ribbon. Um, as what you can see, their dorsal looks like shark dorsal type. But I want to make that dorsal like a big dorsal. So first, let's find the ribbon type female magenta. And for her pair, I'm gonna choose Mosaic Red Dragon as her male. So if you see his dorsal, so it's quite big, right? So we need that to pass that Y chromosome genes to our future gapis. So as so what I've said on our previous videos, the genes of male gapis are responsible for ornamentations and if you want to change some traits of your gapis, like changing their dorsal fins, pectoral fins, quadal fins, and even their pattern, color, or etc., we need to apply outcrossing method. And we call the male genes as Y chromosome link and are heritable. And if you ask why did I choose Red Dragon, because when doing the outcross and the only thing we like to change is the gappy pictorial or quadal or dorsal fins and even their body pattern. What we're going to do is to find the closest individual in terms of their color for a fast result. Because if you think using other color like purple or yellow or etc. so their color will become mixed. And it's hard for us to manipulate them soon, so we need to choose the closest color as possible for a faster result. And also our male here, you can see that he has a good pictorial fins, or he has the Dumbo type of gapis, and it's possible that we can pass that on our next generation on this type of strain. So today we'll be pairing them, and very soon I'll give you an update about their progress.
and here also on my other small tank we have here another inbreed juvenile guppy fish they came actually they came from blue grass guppies and as what you can see we found a kind of metal grass guppy which has an ivory color and this female also came from other inbreed tank she has also have that ivory color so to enable them to produce an ivory metal grass strain we need to pair them up of course and soon i'm gonna give you an update on them so better watch for it And also I'm gonna show you my other planted tank that has no CO2 but soon I'll be providing them DIY CO2 and here this tank that we use this is just a new planted tank and I use garden soil as my substrate to lessen the cost and the white pebbles as my top substrate and they look beautiful right <laughs> and after a week we will be adding CO2 also on them for a good result and if you're going to ask me how did I do the planted tank using the garden so well as our substrate, well, soon we can make video for that if you want, right? So just ask me. But I'm gonna update you for sure about our experiment and if you want to follow our outcross method you can also ask me so that while we're waiting you already do the outcrossing for yourself <laughs> and if you have any comments also and suggestions or clarification you can message me at our FB page at habitb.ph or just click the link below description and of course if you're new here please consider subscribing to get updated on our upcoming videos so please be safe everyone, to God be the glory. Bye bye.